Chimmer, 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 Chimmer,
If you were a 64 fanboy when you were 10, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, that was... Those characters were great. I mean, you had you had Link, you had oh, the, the Mario crew. They could make a game just with the Mario crew. Uh, br- exactly. Brawl and, and they do. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and they do all the time. But um, the, the PS characters, a lot of people forget who is in that roster. That is stacked. Mm-hmm. That roster is stacked. It is. And, and they also said that they'll be doing third-party characters as well. Yes. So that means even games that weren't exclusive to PlayStation... Their characters can still be in the game. Yes. So let's go over the f- confirmed characters. Do you have a, do you have mm-hmm. a list of that, Peach? Um, not in front of me, but I remember. You remember them? I remember much? them. We got uh, Kratos from God of War. Yes. We got Sweet Tooth from uh, Twisted Metal. Yes. Yeah, so good. So good. Drake from uh, Fat Fat Princess from Fat Princess. Fat Princess from Fat Princess. <laughs> uh, Sly Cooper from the Sly Cooper games. Yes. Do we, we have Drake? I believe from Uncharted too, right? Nope, not yet. Not yet, okay. No, he's not one of them. Um, then Parappa the Rapper from okay. Game of the Same... Uh, no, I think that was the name of the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't remember, but it was an old PS1 game. Um, and then uh, Redick or Renick, some dude from Killzone. Mm. Very cool. So, so th- that's what we got so far. Mm-hmm. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, really cool characters. Even cooler is the possibility of characters that we might get. Exactly. Um, so what have you heard tossed around? Now, um, for our Facebook fans, you may have seen a post by us, actually by PJ, who threw in there um, our, our wish list for sure. Mm-hmm. Our wish list. So you guys, if, you've, if, you're, if you're friends of the Facebook page, you probably have seen our wish list and kind of know what we're about to say for what we want. But we're going to do it anyways. Yes, we are going to do it anyways. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, characters, there are a lot of ca- My list is almost 90% a list of characters you could assume are going to be in the game anyways. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, like, like Nathan Drake. They yeah. would be stupid to not Thank God. put that character in the game. Thank God. It would be so good. Um... Other characters like uh, like Cole from Infamous and stuff. These are franchises that Sony owns directly and would have no issue putting them in whatsoever, right? Same with Sackboy. Oh, yeah. The dude, the dude from Little Big Planet. Yeah. Like, and he would almost play like Kirby, I think, in my opinion, with all the different costumes and stuff. He could emulate everybody's different moves. Yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. That would be an interesting way to approach that character because there's not a lot of combat in the Little Big Planet. That is a plat- true platformer. Yeah, definitely. But um, that'd be an interesting way to play that character. Really interesting. Um, we got. Let's see. Ratchet and Clank. Other guys, for sure. Like, yeah, technically Sony doesn't own them. Yeah. But I have no. But I mean, they're they're one of the stages was Ratchet and Clank mm. based. That is so true. So that makes me that makes me think that they're already planning on putting them in the game, anyways. So. Yeah. Yeah. And we got other characters in here, like, you know, Crash Bandicoot, of course. Oh, I, I Sony doesn't so own happy. anymore. Yeah. Because Activision owns them. But, again, you know, he was such a big part of the original PlayStation era. How could they not? Absolutely. I, I totally agree with that. But PlayStation fanboys, you're, you're, you're probably chomping at the bit to, to yell some things out to us. <laughs> but do it. Yell those things out to us on our Facebook uh, and on our email, for sure. Um. Yeah, but uh, awesome. That the, our, our wish list, I think, is a very reasonable approach. I feel like yeah. we have some reasonable wish lists. So you can think of this as a wish list slash predictions list. Yeah, I mean, like like people like Cloud and stuff. Like that's that's a given as well. You know, they gotta have at least one character from one of the PlayStation Final Fantasies in there. Yeah. And Cloud would make the most sense, since Seven was the most popular. Now, a throw around idea I've heard. If you guys listen to my my incoherent ramble in the first podcast. <laughs> I was talking about my favorite <laughs> game, my favorite console game. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Kane? And I was talking about Legacy of Kane. I have heard that Raziel from the Soul Reaver series may be on there. Also not owned by PlayStation. So that would be a third party. Yeah. Um, um, but really interesting if he gets on there because he was such a cool character. I loved him. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have trouble. Anybody who plays with me is gonna have to sit there while I decide between Crash Bandicoot, 
<laughs> Actually, it'd be a three-way tie. Crash Bandicoot, Ratchet and Clank, because I love them. And, mm-hmm. uh... Here you go, ben. Thanks. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> And um, Raziel, for sure, uh, which is so funny because the first podcast we did, we talked about our favorite console games growing up, yeah. and then this happens this week, basically, <laughs> and we're, we <laughs> wind up much. talking about all those games again, uh, which is so cool. I, I love that, actually. Oh, yeah, no, no definitely, because I couldn't be more excited about this. Like I've been talking with all my friends on Twitter about it and stuff, too, and everyone's flipping out about this game in the best way possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because... I mean, the, the gameplay looks awesome. The gameplay is different from Smash Brothers in the sense that there are no ring outs. Mm-hmm. There are... Yeah. Everyone attacks each other, and they build up meter to unleash super attacks. Okay. And yeah. each character has three levels of supers, and you that's how you kill other characters is by hitting them um, with, uh, with the super attack. Okay. So, you know, like... Some of them, all, like, level 1 supers are only, like, really close-range ones, so they might only be able to hit one character and stuff like that. But as you yeah. hit, like, level 3 and stuff, they get longer range or they last a bit longer, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Looks awesome. I, I, I did see a preview of a couple supers. Mm-hmm. I believe they're yeah. out there. Um, There's definitely previews of Sly Coopers and uh, Sweet Tooth, from what I can remember off the top of my head. Sweet Tooth is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, the mech. Yeah, he turns into this big mech, and if you guys don't know what we're talking about, maybe we have a video playing right now, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> but he turns into that big mech, he's shooting stuff, it's just, it looks like uh, like Super Smash Brothers on steroids, it really does. It's pretty much is, yeah. wild. So, you know, I hate to keep comparing it, because like you... like well, No, no, but I think that's okay, because that's, I mean, even the guys in interviews and stuff from Superbot, the, the company... Oh, okay, uh, there they, it is. They, they even said, yeah, I mean, this is... This is Sony Smash Brothers, basically, you yeah. know, like, this is where we drew our inspiration. I mean, but that's but that's only half of it, obviously. Yeah. Things with, like, the meter and the supers and stuff, they're pulling inspiration from all types of fighting games. They just decided to go with Smash Brothers as, like, the presentation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what kind of characters do you want? I mean, I listed my ten, um, but are there any are there any ones that aren't on here besides... What's his name from Kane that uh, you would want in here? Raziel, I would love. I would love Kane in it, but um, uh, you know, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, I've heard. Uh, I heard one of the levels is Bioshock related. I oh think, yeah, and that makes me kind of like, I want, you know, a, like a big, <laughs> big daddy, daddy to be in there. But I know that's a crazy request because. But I don't know. They have a sweet tooth in there, so. I, I, well, yeah, but Sony owns Sweet Tooth. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, we'll see. Uh, I, I would love like a uh, like a big daddy on there. I'd love a um, what's it? Uh, s- maybe if they got Snake. I know he was actually in yeah. Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, which is funny, but yeah. f- ironically though, not ironically, but coincidentally, all of all of Snake's main Metal Gear Solid games have always been on the PlayStation. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's why I kind of was surprised. I was actually very surprised. I wasn't, like, kind of surprised. But I was really <laughs> surprised when he was on Super Smash Brothers. And his character played so well. I think they did his character so well. I'd love... Really? Uh, I, I could... You didn't like him? I did not like Snake too much in, in Brawl. I used to be so annoying because I'd snipe off kills when mm-hmm. people would jump... They'd be thrown off the map, and they'd be doing their little... Everybody had that little fly ability to come back. Uppy move, yeah. And I'd use my uh, my homing rocket and hit them while they were <laughs> mid-flight, and they'd just drop <laughs> like a rock. And he was cool. He felt he felt almost like a sniping character in the way that where there just wasn't one before. Um, mm-hmm. I, I felt his play style pretty interesting. I'd love to see how Sony, who has more experience working with the character, does with it. Well, yeah. yeah you, you know what I mean? Not yeah, more no, experience, I but, you know, th- I, I feel like they would do it maybe a little more justice than Super mm-hmm. Smash Brothers did. Not that Super Smash Brothers did a terrible job, in my opinion, uh, but I, I'd i love to see what Sony's going to do with it. Sony, I mean, I'm usually not disappointed by Sony, except when they get hacked and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's a, yeah. that's a whole other story. But um, I'm usually not disappointed by... I, in general, these companies usually don't, like, make me rage, <laughs> except Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Why? Why, Nintendo? But, hang on. <laughs> the, the Wii U. I think I, during E3, I punched my monitor. 
But uh, <laughs> speed of which, E three is uh, E three is coming up. That's gonna be a f- in like a month. That's gonna be a fun time for podcasting. I agree. I think you know, a couple of weeks we'll probably lay out some predictions. Oh hell yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, no, I mean this game is gonna be it's gonna be big. It's not gonna sell Smash Brothers numbers because no. you know Smash Brothers has been around for two for three generations in total, right? Since yeah. the sixty four, it's got that nostalgia. I mean, exactly. I mean, and I don't think Sony. I don't think it's been out long enough. Yeah. For, you're right. For uh, you're right. Or so uh, Sony itself hasn't even been around long enough, you know, to have that nostalgia. Absolutely. So I think it'll be it'll be fun because they have a really cool cast of characters, and especially if they're doing third party, and like they do like a half half first party half third party thing, they'll have a nice even balance of excuse me characters everyone wants. Yeah, yeah, and they're gonna they're gonna have that cool you know um, everybody who's played on the PlayStation Network knows the benefits of it. <laughs> It's not a widely used system. I mean, I, no. <laughs> yeah, I've, I mean, if you own a PlayStation 3, you know exactly what we're talking about. To, to our Xbox listeners, you probably know what we're talking about. <laughs> When's well, yeah, the latest? Xbox because everyone else uses Xbox Live. You, you, you all use Xbox Live, and, you, and if you have a from a PlayStation 3, how often do they talk about hopping on uh, the PlayStation Network? Probably never. Exactly. But this could be a good game changer for that. Yeah. If you want to play Modern Warfare, you want to play, you know, something like that, it's obvious which system you, you'd go with. It's, oh, of it's course. Well, right yeah. Now. They got all the maps and stuff on 360. Exactly. Exactly. It's obvious which one you're going with. This is Sony's chance to start making the network. The network was already kind of tilted where people weren't going for it, and then, you know, the whole hacking thing happened. And exactly. It yeah. just, the, the name got worse and worse and worse, and I feel like now they have a chance to not bring it up to Xbox Live level. That's not like, you know, that's nah. aiming way <laughs> too high. But yeah. at least bring it up to a respectable level, because right now it's really not there. But, um, yeah, that I'm really looking forward to this title. I, well, I, yeah, wish I mean, what's funny is, is that they're actually succeeding in two areas where Super Smash Brothers doesn't, and then they're the two most important areas, which is basically gameplay and online. Absolutely. Brawl is absolutely unplayable <laughs> online. Terrible. My son sent me a great video uh, that I'm probably going to put in this section of the podcast where it's just a minute of four people playing Smash Brothers online, but they move a total of like three inches over the course of the minute. <laughs> it's just, the lag is so bad that no, it's practically unplayable. Yeah. And, and the gameplay in Smash Brothers is, is okay. It's like right. I, I mean, well, especially in Brawl, probably Brawl compared to Melee is a terrible game. Melee is easily the best version. Mm. Yeah. But because in in Brawl, all the characters felt, um, they weren't balanced. They were just, they all felt really heavy. Mm. Yeah. You know, and that like all of them were really slow. They were all really slow, except for Sonic, of course, who could run off the stage by accident if you weren't careful. But yeah. <laughs> um, and I think that's another thing that this game will have over Smash Brothers is just is the balance of like a Street Fighter or a Tekken or something you know something mm. built for tournaments and stuff. Yes, that is so, that's a really interesting point that I didn't even think of. Though, what are the tournament capabilities of this? You know, any of our our gamers out there who, who are competitive, and what I mean by competitive <laughs> isn't just you get mad when you lose. I mean, I mean competitive. You know, like you go, you go to money, you go win money at tournaments. Yeah, you go to tournaments, even if if it's at your local store. You know, mm-hmm. that's that's an interesting aspect of gaming. And if you're into esports at MLG, I mean, yeah, that, buddy. that explanation was completely useless for you. <laughs> but um, you know what I mean. So um, that this, what are the implications here? What what can this game do? It's really going to be interesting. It's it's really going to be something to watch. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh-huh. and that's what I'm hoping for. It'll be released this year. Yeah, they're definitely Absolutely. aiming for holiday 2012, which is good because then it'll be nice in time for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, I like we said E3 is coming up, so I would expect that that's why they revealed the game now. Mm-hmm. So that way at E3 they could be like, here's like 12 all like 12 characters and all these stages and stuff that are coming up. And oh yeah, people will go um, nuts. You know, they're gonna be there. Sony's going to this is they're setting themselves up to have one of the best days at E3. I know it's early to say that, but they're setting themselves up for this is going to be huge. So, uh, you know, yeah, keep, definitely. keep straddling that for that position. You know, that's always the game at E3. Who can, who can get into the limelight uh, there? Because, you know, you have mm-hmm. giants fighting for it. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Um, 
All right, so we'll... very cool. So that's um, yeah. that's PS4 stuff. We got a little bit more news. Um, two yeah. more points we had here. Just quick about. Well, we are recording this right now on April 29th. So yes. you guys are probably listening to the. Well, you could be listening to it whenever, but <laughs> um, mm-hmm. you know we're heading into May now, early May, and mm-hmm. uh, we know what mid May is bringing, and that is Diablo mm-hmm. three. Yes, it is. So May fifteenth, Tuesday. Yes. So you know, I know a lot of people are excited. I know it is. Everybody's probably pretty excited that they're doing it pr- pretty much as finals are ending. Exactly. Right. That's like, what I was happy about because I was like, you know, they're gonna release it. They're definitely gonna release it. You know, the, like the the night before my like biggest final or something. Uh huh. You know, and um, you know, thank. They got they're doing a little later. They're doing a little bit later. Um, you know, not much. They're definitely cutting it close for me. But I, I know that's not what they actually planned around. But um, it, it, the timing just works good for me personally. Um, mm-hmm. Well, no, I think it works great for everybody. Yeah. Cause, I mean, I still have a couple of friends who have like three weeks left. But even three weeks from now lands you done around that same week. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, so everyone's. They're gonna get out of school and they're just they're gonna go to the GameStop. And yeah. Then they're gonna go and we won't see them again until the next semester. Yeah. So they'll just be buried in their computer for <laughs> the entire summer. So any now personally, I'm not a big Diablo fan, mm. but I played a little bit of it. I played like I think ten minutes of it in total when the uh, when they did the free week free yeah. free weekend like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I want to like it. Because I know it's a big deal, but at the same time, I'm just like, ah, I don't care. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you mean. Um, I, I did not play Diablo 2. I know that's like a big shock to a lot of people. I'll, let, I'll, ta- I'll let you all take it. Like, uh, <laughs> not to me, I didn't play it either. Catch your breath. But uh, yeah, I, know, I never played Diablo 2. Um, it just, I just missed the boat on it. You know, it was, uh-huh. I was a little young when, at its fir- when it first was released, and then... Um, I got sucked into the whole EverQuest thing, and I was really focusing on that as my MMO and um, RPG. Like, that filled all my RPG needs. So yeah. I, I wasn't looking to play anything else, and if somebody was, you know, you know, I, I just wasn't looking for it. So I didn't play Diablo 2. I am very excited for Diablo 3. Um, I'm, I know a lot of people that are going to start playing it. A lot of people that oh, I yeah. used to play WoW with. I, and I hope this is the same. I hope you guys can relate because this is probably a similar situation for a lot of people. Uh, you, you played MMOs with people, mainly WoW. You know, you play, play WoW with people for. Uh, I, I've been playing WoW for eight years now, seven years. How long has it been out? I've been <laughs> oh, playing Jesus it Christ. since, the, since the, the, like, the week it came out or the couple months into it coming out. I've been playing mm-hmm. it since then. Since vanilla, and um, you know, how long are people going to play with you on the same server without switching characters? We've all been through that frustration. And then, oh yeah, of course. That's why I don't play them most. <laughs> yeah, and then let's let's drop fifty dollars to get over onto the guy's server and the uh, you know, race change and faction change and you know it's it's just a pain. Um, so you kind of lose touch with your friends, even if they're just in game friends, even if they're not real life friends. And now everybody's kind of coming into Diablo 3, and it's yeah. almost like World of Warcraft is restarting again for me, is how I feel like. <laughs> Everybody gets to be like, okay, there's 15 of us, please choose this server, and nobody leave, so that we could just play together and not, uh-huh. not be all spread out the way it, it happened uh, in, in WoW event, as in time wow. went on. So this is kind of cool, you know, it's like, it feels almost like starting new. I know I'm not at all saying it's the same game, because it's not. Oh, no, no, um, no, But it has that kind of cool feel of... Uh, of community. Exactly, the, that community feel. Um, oh, but what's the news <laughs> that yeah, we, we have? Did kinda, we did sideline yeah. that a little bit. Um, ju- the, really only one big point, and this may be a point that people might have missed... Um, so which is why we're saying it. It's not the newest news. But um, in Diablo 3, upon release, um, that we had a, I think it came out as, as a way of a blue post that they will not have um, PvP or, um, in the game upon release. At launch. Yeah, at launch. Um, it will be patched in. Um, you know, it's a, a big patch later on, which 
if you're a Blizzard fan, you're used to. But um, the reason for this was to not push back the date. Blizzard is notorious for pushing back dates, as our StarCraft fans know. <laughs> I'm sure our StarCraft fans are like, you know, yeah. they, you know, how long did you guys wait for StarCraft 2 that they kept pushing and pushing and put and just... I think they announced it in 2006? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it came out in 2010. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, uh, that's an absurd amount of time for them to keep pushing. Any WoW fans, you know, they've, they've, uh, they've pushed some expansions. They, they've promised material and not delivered the, the friggin' race oh, dances. I'm hitting my mic. Sorry about that. Oh, it's all good. The race dances, mm-hmm. it's even on the box. If anybody has, I think, the Lich King box, maybe it's Burning Crusade. You guys could correct me if you want on Facebook or something. Um, on one of the boxes, if you guys have this, take a picture and post it on our wall. It says a feature in that game is um, different racial dances, and they never, to this day, they're not in the game. They never, <laughs> they, yeah, it's on the box, and they never did it. That's um, hilarious. Yeah, so Blizzard's notorious for this, and they're trying to fix that, which we, I appreciate. As, yes. as a Blizzard consumer, somebody who buys Blizzard products uh, fairly religiously, although, although you know, if you're, a, if you're a true Blizzard fan, you have your problems with Blizzard, but... I, well, who does? Yeah, but I really do appreciate that they're trying not to push it back. That they're trying to stick to their dates mm-hmm. because all you need is when the time comes and they're releasing the the StarCraft expansion for them to to push stuff back on StarCraft fans again. Oh, I know, right? That's all they need, you know. So I, I'm glad they're doing that, but I am going to miss the PvP right away. But Let's all level nice and friendly first, I guess, <laughs> and then we'll <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll still have co-op. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a PvP isn't meant to be balanced in any way either, so I don't really think they care because, you know, there's just gonna be like a ton of griefing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and anybody who knows, I uh, I would love to make a hardcore character, um, but I don't know if I have the patience for it. A- anybody who hasn't played the Diablo series. Um, hardcore mode, if your character dies, that's it. Your character is deleted. Ah, I see. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And uh, that's intense. That's intense. And I and I think the guy who kills you gets all your gear. I might be wrong on that, but I think they lose. No, I don't think that applies. I think there's, uh, in multiplayer, I think that's just single player. Okay, that's just, okay. So, um, yeah, pretty annoying. I don't know if I have the patience for that. Um, but, Cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, Witcher 2 had a similar thing. Did but it was like an 80-hour-long RPG. Really? Yeah, where you just had one life, and if that, and then they would, and then the game would would lock the save, so you couldn't do anything with it. Uh, ugh. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> cool. So, uh, so there you go. This Diablo 3. We'll talk more about it as it's coming around the bend. You know, we uh, would love to put it in our beta section, but we don't have a beta to it, so. <laughs> So no, we not. Yeah, we get the we get we have a lot of beta keys. We have a lot, and we're going to be talking about them. Uh, we're going to be doing a beta section. We've decided to do um, as we get betas. Talk to you guys about some of the betas we're in. Um, if they're open, how you can get in, and if they're closed, what you're missing, as, so that you guys are right there with us while we're doing yeah. it. Um, that's. Really I mean, I don't really too. think we got. Well, do we have any right now? We have mists. Yeah, but, we'll get to that. Yeah, but we'll talk about that a little later. Mr. Pandaria, the WoW expansion. We are we are in that right now. Um, so we'll talk about that. But, um, yeah, so there's Diablo. We'll talk about it again soon. If you guys have the beta, we hate you. So we'd, like to play the, we'd like to play the beta <laughs> a little bit. Um, just a smidge. Yeah. Just to get some video content. But we got the weekend, so we got that one weekend, so that's nice. I literally only played 10 minutes that whole weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I didn't even download it. I'm not going to lie. I have it downloaded uh, for because uh, I have the, the annual pass. Oh, yeah. So you already have it. Yeah. But, okay, cool. And then uh, our last point, um, a little bit of, like, gaming news, like true gaming news. Um, for those of you that don't know, China uh, has outlawed, not that this is new, but China has out has always had the outlaw on gaming consoles. Yes. Um, 360, PS3, anything you can think of, it's not there. So um, there's been an announcement that there there is going to be a new system introduced. It's not like a new company up and coming into the gaming co- competition. It's literally China-based 
for uh, Chinese citizens so that they have some kind of consul actually in the country. Yeah. And it's $600. It is $600, um, which is like 3,000, like 800 yen. Yeah, 3,800. No, it's not yen. It's like... Uh, yuan? Yu- yuan? Yeah. Yuan? I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly. Yeah. Yuan, maybe? Maybe the U is silent? I don't know. But about 600, um, which is pretty pricey. Oh, yeah, that's what the PS3 was, and everyone flipped out with that. Yeah. So. Right, but yeah, they, they said it'll basically it'll have... Actually, it's released today. Oh, wow. Oh, so... Yeah, the 29th. It's called the CT-510. Yes. Um, oh, yay, China. They have a system now. And Well, it's the second. Their second system. It is their second, okay. Um... I think second. No, no, no. The third. I'm I'm reading this article here, and it's confusing on how it lists the consoles. But anyways, it's the second one though to be c- controller free with Connect like features. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and sometimes you know these consoles are made by subsidiaries of actually the uh, subsidiaries of the big three. Mm, you know, yeah. Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft. I think a while ago there was one. There was a modified version of the Wii that Nintendo released in China under a different company name. Mm. That was technically owned by them in order to get their console in there. Yeah, but I'm not. It's probably gone. I'm not now. sure. God, you yeah. know, things in China are. God only knows. Things. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, so so we, you know, it's interesting. They're gonna have a connect like system, you know, for motion uh, motion control gaming, and it'll be cool. You know, if you guys want updates on it, please email us questions. We'll we'll answer them all. We, we, can, we shall investigate if we need yes, to. Yes, absolutely. If you guys really do have an interest in it, we'd love to look into it. Um, but, yeah, we thought it was interesting news. So uh, Now to our, our real, like, news section. Kind of. Well, not news, but... Oh, did you say new, new or news? New. Oh, okay. kind of. <laughs> like, we just did news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, new, like, kind of, kind of new. We, we discussed a little bit last week how we were going to... Uh, take some viewer requests for what you guys wanted us to review and, and give our impression of. Um, and we've decided to make that a monthly thing. Yeah, it'll, it'll save us time and money, because, I mean, we still we have jobs, of course, and stuff. Yeah. And finals right now, and I'm going to be taking summer school and whatnot. So making it, and plus, monthly get, makes us, it gives us a chance to get everything ready and to play the game long enough to be as impressions. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so we just got our Minecraft logins. Yes, yeah, so we um, may or may not re- be recording Minecraft stuff after this or tomorrow night. Who knows? Yeah. But it, but definitely in time for next week's podcast. Absolutely, and you know we um, you know we we listened to you guys. We had a, a couple people actually tell us they wanted some Minecraft um, on there. It's an old old game at this point, but they're always updating. So uh, you know, and I've never played, so this will be hilarious. Yeah, so this will be fun. You know, we're, we're going to do a lot of fun stuff. I, I used to play all the time, so th- this will be pretty cool because we're both going to kind of have some fun with it, show you guys some videos, and then uh, talk about it a lot next week in a big kind of roundtable way. Uh, maybe we'll bring a guest on if we have any. Yeah. Um, which mm-hmm. might be kind of cool, do more of a round table style with uh, three, four people, um, including ourselves. We're not going to bring on like a whole <laughs> huge group. <laughs> Let's not complicate yeah. things now. Um, but what we're going to do for the other weeks is um, we should announce probably uh, you know a few days before what games it is that we are going to review. And what we're going to do is a, uh, PJ is going to choose one, and I'm going to choose one. And uh, we're going to talk about them and review them for you guys, so you guys get a little bit of a non-biased view. Because I feel like sometimes when you go on some of the the sites or, or you read some of the magazines, they can be slanted. Um, mm, and, and, maybe. Yeah, and with us, you know, you're going to get it from, literally, we, we just played the game, so we're going to tell you exactly what we thought. Yeah. Um, so I, I believe PJ's up first. So what did you choose? Am I? Um, I chose Lone Survivor. Very cool. Which is this, uh... What is it? It's basically a... It's an indie game made by Superflat. Superflat Games. Um, and it's a survival horror game. Super inspired by Silent Hill. Even even to the point where if you pick up an item, it makes almost the exact same sound. (laughs) Um... And the maps look very similar and stuff. I mean, you guys, I I recorded about half hour footage of me playing through it so far that you can see up on the channel. And you can even see, I point out a bunch of things like the map and that stuff. The music is really good. It's, 
it's a lot of fun. It's intense, though, even though it's like 8-bit graphics and whatnot, 16-bit, I don't know. Uh, it's all pixel art, though, and it's it's nuts. Yeah. I was there, there were legitimately some moments where I I didn't jump, but where I, I was surprised and that I was freaking out because I was being chased. Yeah, that that's uh, interesting. So there's some chasing in it, and that's cool. Well, yeah, because you can't you can't really fight the monsters. You have a gun. That's, you get a gun at some point, but it takes like ten shots to kill one. Yeah. Um, and you don't have a whole lot of bullets. So sometimes you have to like hide from them and work around them, or you have to get uh, like meat, uh, decaying meat, in order to distract them. That's awesome. Very. Cool. Um, <laughs> there's one time where I put the meat like a little too close to my hiding spot, so when I got out, he immediately started chasing me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought I was free and clear. Um, and it, you know the game is visually very dark. You know that's why you only have like your flashlight, so you can't really see things. And then when the monsters start chasing you, everything goes red and starts flipping out. Mm. Oh my god, it's it's it's, it's really fun so far. I'm uh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, no, it, it sounds cool. It's one of those games that I don't have much experience with. I've, I actually have no experience with that game. Um, I hadn't heard about it until you you mentioned it to me. But it really looks awesome. Um, it really does, and that we do have the videos up on the YouTube, which are really cool. Um. For people that are interested in checking it out, yeah, uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep putting up as I play through the game. You can hear me freak out as I'm being chased by monsters and all that stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I'll probably do a video review or something. I'll put together something after I finish the game. But uh, yeah, those are just impressions. If you can buy on Steam right now, I don't know when the deal goes up, but I, when I bought it and last I checked, it was still eight dollars. Okay. Uh, it's it's only ten full price, mm. and I got it on Steam. There's a link to the site in the description of the videos if you want to buy it directly from the website. Uh, I think it's ten dollars there as well. They also have the soundtrack, which is still cool. Yeah. And stuff, but uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, so not that's bad. it for me. What about you, Ed? Um, so if for anybody who watched the packs. Uh, videos that we had up. There's a lot of them, so I don't blame you if, if you <laughs> skipped 14. over them. Yeah, there's a lot of parts, and they're pretty long, but, you know, we were excited. We th- Originally, we didn't even do it for the podcast. We were just recording for ourselves. And then <laughs> uh, and then we were like, oh, hey, let's do this podcast. And so they wound up being archived as, as podcasts, but um, we went out and got me a 3DS because I loved it at PAX. I really did. Um, mm-hmm. I know it's not for everybody, so I actually chose a 3DS game. So um, I know 3DS, uh, the games are kind of pricey for a handheld. Um, yeah, the mo- they're, they're like 40 bucks. Yeah. They range. Some of them aren't that much. But, I mean, yeah, yeah all, the, all the really good ones you'll find are about 40 bucks. Yeah, like 30 40 which, you, you know, for gamers, you know, th- these they add up. They add up. You know, you, Diablo's coming out. This is out. This is out. You know, and you, you're spending so much. So um, I'm actually reviewing... Uh, Super Mario 3D Land, which is one of the biggest titles I feel like on the 3DS right now. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some titles that are that are pretty big on it, but th- I feel like this one is one of the one of the biggest. And um, so I was messing around with this game. I, I actually did a full playthrough of it. Uh, you said you beat it. You got like all the stars and stuff. Yeah, right? I did. You, you get st- kind of star coins, three of them each level. I got all of them. I. Uh, I really, really got into the game. I, I played, I played it all the time when I was playing it, like, night and day. Um, it was really fun, and the, you know, the 3DS is so easy. I haven't had a handheld game since I was a kid, so uh, yeah, it was kind of unique having it. But the, the game itself, I'm not the biggest platform gamer. Mm. I'm not so great at them, so I get frustrated easy. Um, the game's tricky, but it, ha- it has a really interesting dynamic. You're playing obviously as Mario in the beginning. Yeah, and you're going through, and and you know it's the same storyline. You're saving Princess Peach. You go to like nine wrong castles. You actually go to <laughs> you actually go to seven wrong castles, but you finally get to the right one in the eighth level. And um, you know you're doing the Bowser fights. It turns out it's not Bowser. So you keep going. You get to the eighth one, and it's a real cool fight. Something that disappointed me. I don't know. The, the way they worded it, it's Super Mario 3D Land, and it just reminded me, for some reason, of, like, Mario 64. I don't know why. I don't know why. 
that's uh-huh. fine. I mean, that's that's I think the whole what the goal was because I mean, yeah, Super Mario uh, or Mario sixty four man was probably is one of those popular games of all time. Oh, it's it's amazing. So. You guys know in Mario 64 the, the way the boss fights were. And if you don't, they were very s- standard style, you and the boss, and you, you battle it out. The boss has not like a weak spot, but they have little tricks that you have to do in order to defeat the boss. Very very standard platform style uh, f- yeah. combat. In this particular one, every single Bowser fight is the same, and there's eight of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. And they're all identical. What you're doing is you're running um, you're, you're running through the game while he hurls something at you. And you just have to dodge him. And eventually you mm. get to the end of this little maze, and you jump on a button. The entire maze drops out into lava, and Bowser drops out into the lava. That's how every boss fight is played. You never interact with Bowser directly. You're oh, wow. just avoiding him. You're trying to avoid him. Oh, that sounds boring. It, the, I have I'm to say, the, yeah. the boss fights got very frustrating because in order to make the game difficult, what they decided to do was not put in checkpoints in some of the mm. boss fight levels. So you're playing through a pretty tough level, and then you get up to fighting Bowser, and then he knocks you out, and now you have to do the whole thing over again. And it was getting kind of frustrating. I mean, I get frustrated easily with platformers, like I said. Anyway... But so yeah. that would that would be kind of frustrating, but when you when you would finally get it, it felt great. <laughs> you know, you finally you were beating them. Um, and what's great is when you finish the 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 game itself, you unlock uh, Luigi as a playable character. Oh, and you get to go play through all the worlds again as Luigi, right? They they allow you to play through all the levels again as Luigi, but what you do is you unlock eight new worlds called special worlds. Oh, okay. And they're underground. And basically what you're doing is you're playing through the entire game again. And each level is much, much harder. Mm. So I feel for the adult gamers out there, um, you know, if we have any younger kids that listen to us, um, the, the first eight levels are – the first eight worlds are going to be a lot of fun. Um, for the adult gamers, the first eight levels – the first eight worlds may seem a little – dumb down a bit. Um, like, for example, if you die three times in a row, they give you a suit that makes you immune to everything. So you could literally just run through the level. Um, oh, that's... Yeah. Which you don't have okay. to take. You don't have to take it. It's on the floor right next to you when you spawn after three deaths. I think it's three uh, three deaths, or it might be five deaths. I may be, may be wrong on my number. It's either three or five, and then it's either five or eight. <laughs> you get one that literally just ends the level for you so that you can skip it. Oh, Jesus. So, technically, if you wanted to beat the game, you could just run off the first ledge eight times and then just skip the level, and it counts as completed. So, uh, that was like, I was kind of like, wow, this isn't a good game <laughs> at all here. But um, what wound up happening is the special levels do not have that, and they're very, they're very challenging. For the adult gamers, the special worlds are what you, you want to do. And okay. um, what's really interesting is that the the, um, the street pass uh, saves anyone who has the save data on there saves their time, and you can actually compete against their best time. So you could have the best time of anybody you've ever street passed with. Oh, okay. Which was kind of fun. I kind of got really competitive with the guys that were on my street class because I kind of figured out that they have to be people in my psychology class because <laughs> oh, nice. I was like, I bring it to psych every <laughs> single Thursday and I come back on Thursday and all these people's scores keep getting updated. So I started to get kind of competitive for that. Cause I know that it's coming up on their three DS. So I'm kind of like going back or DS, whatever they have. Um, that would be a three DS. Yeah. Yeah. So it was interesting. It was really fun. Um, you know, uh, I liked the game overall. The, but the boss fights were really, really disappointing. They don't get better. The special levels do not have unique boss fights. Uh, the boss fights are the same every single level. Um, and they repeat the gimmick of the level. They have the mm-hmm. disappearing platforms. That is the gimmick that you're going to see in every single level. They have platforms that don't appear until you're in midair. That's going to be in every, you know, every single world. You're going to have one of those. They have uh, platforms that shift position every time you jump. That's going to be in every world. So it starts to get redundant because you're playing through 
essentially you're playing through that style of level 16 times. Which is a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, other than that, I, I really did like the game. Like I said, I, play, I played it night and day. But if you're a stickler for you want the creative boss fights out of a platformer and you want a little more creativity to the levels, it may be one to skip. A note about the 3D, the 3D is fantastic. It really and it, is. it's pretty much needed too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it, it was just... The, the 3D really really kind of blew my mind with it. it they, they had some parts that were just so good. So good in 3D. Um, it was really great. It, it, the, the 3D part of it, if I had to rate that, I'd give it like a 9.5 or 10 out of 10. The 3D was the best I've played so far on the 3DS. And mm-hmm. I've played a couple games on there. And that's, that's one of my favorite 3D-wise. Uh, there are some of those levels I'll go back and play just to see the 3D in them. Oh, okay. Uh, they're really cool. But, you know, like I said, it gets monotonous. Yeah. Definitely. Well, well, yeah. Cool. Um, so that's, that's, my, that's my review and impression video. Or discussion, I guess. Maybe I'll make a video for it if I can figure out how to record my videos. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll yeah, I've been, looking at, I'm, I've been looking at some YouTube videos, and it is not easy. Yeah. Um... Very cool. So uh, we talked a little bit about how we we're going to have Minecraft next week. Um, we'll be playing that. We'll be live streaming it. Check out the live stream. Um, I'm sorry I didn't live stream this podcast. Um, I meant to, yeah. and I totally forgot. <laughs> we need to once we figure out how to actually work these things. Yeah. So we'll we'll normally be live streaming this, so you guys could ask us questions during the show. Um, I think that'd be a really cool way to keep it interactive. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll be doing that, and and again we're on live stream. Uh, as Mega Midnight Gaming, yeah, we should be on Twitch soon. I just gotta, I gotta figure a few things out. Yeah, with that. Yeah, but until then, check with the live stream. Um, you know, I haven't been streaming much this week, but uh, I will when I record the Mr. Pandaria. Um, I will 100% be live streaming it while I record it on YouTube. So you guys, Sweet. yeah, so you guys could be checking out that live stream while I record it. Uh, and then we'll upload that onto YouTube. Excellent, 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 excellent. Um, so what else we got? Let's see. Um, yeah, we we you know we said we're gonna do Minecraft soon, uh, very soon, you know, yeah. and then uh, have some videos up of that. Uh, definitely impressions or thoughts by uh, by next week's podcast for sure. Uh, after that, I think. You know, we today we I put up a bunch of new videos. I like I said, I uploaded the first episode of the podcast mm-hmm. onto the channel. So if you guys didn't see it on the website or on Facebook or whatever, and you're subscribed to the page, you can go there. There's also a download link if you just want the straight MP3. Yep. Um, I put up the first two Lone Survivor videos as well. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what else. Um. Trying to figure out what else I could put up today. Uh, put up another StarCraft video mm-hmm. um, of my Fun Day Monday attempts. <laughs> and I think that's it. And like I said, in the future, what do we got coming in the future? We'll have the Minecraft in the future, more yep. Lone Survivor, um, more StarCraft because tomorrow's Monday, so there'll be a new challenge. Yep. Um, and that big bit, that big beta walkthrough of uh, Miss Pandaria. We'll be we'll be walking yeah, through as much content. That. Yeah, as much content as I can get for you guys. Uh, I'd love I'm really happy to do it. So that'll be fun. Okay, cool. Um Yep. So we did that future plans and whatnot. So yeah, that, I mean that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. We don't really have anything else. That's about everything we got for you guys this week. We're just hitting an hour and five, so um yeah, that's about the length of last time. So cool. We're staying yeah. consistent. We are, we are, we are. Very um, cool. I feel like we're forgetting something, but <laughs> at the same time, I don't, I don't think we are. So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's just it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. So we're we're good. Uh, have a good week, guys. Keep gaming. Keep messaging us. Tell us what games you're playing. Um, and tell us if you're a big Minecraft fan and and you want to be on the show. You know, we were. We're happy to have you guys, uh, even if it's just on the live stream, at, to asking us questions and interacting, or if if it's you want to come on Skype and actually talk with us a bit. 
um, let us know. Yeah, we can we can always work something out. Yeah, message us. Let us know what what, what you guys want. But uh, yeah, let us know what you're playing this week. All right, have fun, guys. Good, good, good.